let's ask our ai agent a very specific question what is the status of my order one two three four what do you think will happen at this point would cloud uh, which is my ai assistant which i'm using for this demo will be able to answer where my order one two three four is or what is the status of one two three four or it will simply say mm -mm, i don't know what you're talking about let's try it out okay so as expected cloud is saying i have no clue what you are talking about why is that so order over here is a very specific thing which i understand or my company understand um, but it's not publicly available okay so ai tools such as chat gpt cloud and and whatever else out there they are trained on some sort of static data they are very good to answer um, you know questions which have been uh, you know they they learned about it or they have been trained on say for example you can ask like you know what is java language you can ask what is the game of cricket okay or it you can ask about like you know um, tell me something about london city for example it's very good to answer those type of uh, of things yeah or those type of questions because the llm running behind these ai assistants has been trained on that particular uh, data set but wouldn't it be nice like you know if i can also connect my ai assistant because ai assistants are becoming like you no know, um, you know very important part of our life so wouldn't it be nice like you know if i can um, connect my internal data or my private data to ai assistant so ai assistant can not only understand what i'm asking but it's able to answer me um, those questions as well okay so what was happening a few months ago people try to solve this problem and they try to solve problem by introducing something called tools okay so what you do basically is you build your tool say for example you have a customer database you expose api or you expose have a, i don't know some some form like you know, maybe dropping on some sort of uh, messaging queue or whatever and then what these ai assistants will do they will go and talk to talk to those apis or middlewares or whatever the problem here is as the number of ai assistants are growing you have to require you have to basically provide a different type of integration tomorrow if you introduce another type of data set you know you'll have to provide uh, a different way of kind of accessing that data so you can see the, the complexity over here it's pretty much like a cartesian product you can see over here like you no know? so in order to solve this problem you know um uh, what what has been done they have introduced a protocol called mcp okay model context protocol it's a very simple way to to understand it so what's happening is over here you expose your data using something called mcp servers okay on these mcp servers you are exposing the same data set following the the mcp standards and then using the model context protocol all of your ai assistants now are able to talk and and grab that information so you can see like you now the integration has become super cool super easy so tomorrow if you have another ai assistant it can simply talk to this mcp server and it can grab the data so the integration has become super easy what we'll try to do today is we'll try to um in in our workshop what we'll try to do is we'll try to build a use case let's say the 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 problem statement here is as a customer agent i would like to access order inventory so i can answer user queries in natural english language so the tool which i'm going to build today it will be in java and i will be using spring ai if you are not familiar with spring ai i would encourage like you know you go and try to read the documentation but over here we'll directly jump into spring ai provided mc server uh, utilities and we build our first mcp server in next 5 to 10 minutes okay so let's just uh, directly jump to our code over here So what you need to do is basically you just create a, a simple Maven project, okay, or um, whatever other ways you 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 do it. So the dependency manager I'm using over here is is um, uh, Maven. So I have created this uh, project just now called MCP Server Application. You just need to add two dependencies over here. Number one, ORG Spring Framework um, AI, Spring AI Starter MCP Server. okay so that's one thing you want to uh, have in your pom file okay the second dependency you need to add is org spring framework and spring dash web 
All right. So these are the only two dependencies which you need to add in your project to build an MCP server. Okay. Now, after that, that's it. So my uh, dependencies has been added here. The second thing I need to do is I need to go to my application YAML file. Okay. Let's try to increase the font a little bit. So it's, it's nice and uh, easy to view. You have to use this uh, Spring AI element okay, or object. Inside that, you have to decorate MCP. You have to say server. Give some sort of name to your server. Okay, let's call it my order server. Okay, I was initially thinking weather, but let's let's try it out. Order. Give some sort of version so it's easier for your uh, AI assistants or whoever is talking to your servers to understand if they want to do something with with the versioning. Okay, application name. MCP couple of things you want to do is and uh, again I will encourage like you know you go and try to understand uh, the MCP protocol you know there are various offerings like tools are there um, and, you know um, uh, what do you say prompts are there uh, resources are there but what we'll do over here we'll just focus on the tools because we are building a tool so AI assistant can actually talk to my uh, my tool and it can try to grab the order data so you want to disable few things banner is off web application type none okay logging pattern console um typically what happens is in the mcp servers like you know, you're building you have to be a bit, bit careful like you know you're not uh, spitting out a lot of you know uh, console because some of the some of the agents might be you know using the the console based protocol so they might just infer that whatever you are you know logging for debugging purposes or trace purposes they might get the wrong information or wrong wrong impression okay so at this point i'm saying console none so not, nothing will be printed um then you just create your my server application ie the the spring boot application nothing fancy is going on at this point now let's try to build our very first tool which will be able to give answer to that particular question where is my order okay so inside my service let's create java class and we're gonna call it order mcp service okay mcp server service so I have created my MCP server service over here. What I need to do in, in over here is quite simple. I will simply say, uh, let's decorate it with service first. Okay, so it can be registered in uh, Spring Registry. So this is service. Oh, oh. So this is service ORG Spring Framework uh, Stereotype. Okay, which is good. Um, after that, what I need to do is basically, I need to expose a method. Let's say public string and you simply say get order status all right and then obviously i'm going to pass string order id i can expect uh, accept this so i have accepted it what i'm going to do over here is then i'm going to basically keep it very very simple at this point you can actually talk to your database inventory it could be going over maybe oracle database or like you know or it might be talking to another web service or some middleware wherever your data is held yeah what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep it very very simple okay so i'm going to keep uh, you know give some some sort of static response just to try it out so what i'm doing over here is i'm saying if order id is like you know one two three four simply say shipped payment pending payment rejected or order not found now this is my my simple public method but now we have to decorate this particular public method with couple of annotations so spring can expose it as mcp server server service okay so as i said we are building a tool over here okay not a resource not a prompt or nothing like that i'm simply gonna say tool and i'm gonna say in the description and let's put like you know some useful information so when llm is trying to talk to my tool you know uh, it it knows what exactly you know the information i'm going to provide so get the status of an order by its id perfect another thing you need to do very important we have to put another annotation in the method uh, parameter so that the the annotation is called tool param okay which i've done same thing i have to do over here i have to say description and over here i can simply say order status and i can give one example uh, order id uh, 1234 for example okay make sense now we have finished writing our tool 
very simple as you can see now second thing we have to do is we have to register a bean okay so so when llm is talking to our our server server can kind of you know find out this particular tool and it can expose the information so what you can do is like you know just for simplicity purposes you you just come over here and then you register a bean okay so i'm going to create a bean so first let's just um, create a public tool callback provider okay so this is the uh, and i'm going to call it order uh tool order tools basically all right and let's see if uh, my co-pilot can do some magic probably it has not done it so what i'm going to do is call back provider actually it has done the done the job order mcp server yeah it, it has done the done the good job but i think it's not able to identify this particular yeah now if i just do that what was the order mcp server okay so this is the class and i'm gonna say actually i'm sorry I'm, I'm making a mistake over here so what i should be saying is method call provider builder yeah we have to we have to basically uh, build uh, using this uh, class called method toolback provider dot builder and inside that what what we will basically do we'll say tool objects and then in tool objects i can very simply say my tool is uh, new order service yeah so let's say if we can import it new order mcp service okay uh, sorry we have to pass it into this okay so this and then we simply finish our builder okay and you import the class yes please import the class so it's done so over here what we have to do is we have to just declare it as a normal spring bean nothing nothing special and that's pretty much it so our mcp server is now ready for action so what are the things we have to do now so we have to do two things okay so first let's let's try to build our our code okay so what we will have to do basically we have to build our code after that we'll have to register this particular tool in the cloud um, uh, desktop application okay so let's just maven clean install okay if i just say ll target uh, yeah so as you can see mcp server uh, snapshot short dot jar has been created the second thing you want to do here at this point is now we have to actually update a file called library application i'm going to increase the font a little bit so it's it's clear because i have a really large uh, monitor over here so you have to update this file called um you know where your cloud desktop has been installed cloud library application support cloud cloud desktop uh, config.json so what i'm going to simply do is i'm just going to do vi okay so as you can see this file is empty at this point now we just have to add some information in this particular file i'm going to copy paste this from my another screen because i don't really remember uh, exact syntax so let's just get rid of this thing so if we just paste this thing yeah there it is so we are calling it spring ai mcp order okay so this is my order service actually i was thinking of like you know building um, a weather example but then last moment like you know i just decided to build um, uh, orders order service okay so that's why like you know you can see my project name is is weather but don't get confused uh, with this this particular thing so you just have to copy paste this stuff I'll, I'll check in this this code or maybe put in the description so you can copy paste so it says this is my um, object name okay i'm saying command java you know this is the uh, standard io true jar file this is the full or absolute path of the jar which we just built okay now let's just save this particular file and come out so file has been saved now let's go back to our cloud desktop over here what you want to do at this point is you now need to register sorry just quit the the, the cloud okay so i'm just going to quit the cloud 
okay i have quit so when i restart it it's going to look at those plugins let's call it plugins or mcp servers okay and then hopefully it should be able to load it so i'm going to restart my cloud desktop which i have done as you can see if i click on these search and tools perfect as you can see over here now a new tool has appeared called spring ai mcp order okay it was not there earlier if i click on that now it's going to show there is a tool called get order status perfect and it is enabled now let's ask that same question one more time what is the status of my order one two three four hopefully it will be able to tell something interesting okay now it's going to ask hang on um i don't know exactly what you're talking but i just noticed there is a tool which can talk to some external data source and then you know we might be able to answer so it's saying are you okay you you trust this tool etc i'm saying yes please please trust it okay so i'm saying always trust now as you can see over here very interestingly it's calling our method get order status so llm and cloud you know between them they are very clever they have identified that there is a tool which is exposing a method to get information about order okay so if i now if you see the answer your order 1234 has been shipped it should be on as so it's just making it up you know it's on its way blah 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 even though we didn't tell it but we only said ship and llm is very nicely like you know formulating and and building this whole syntax and giving us the answer if we just click on that particular thing you can see this was the request order id 1234 so llm has very nicely you know extracted that information it has built this input the beauty of mcp server is when it is it's exposing it's basically telling what are the input parameters okay um so we got the response shipped because that was uh, our application saying and now we got the whole answer now let's see what is the status of order um, what was the other order which was saying payment failed or something yeah let's go back so if i say trip 2222 what is the status of order 2222 okay as you can see again it's calling order status it's saying your order 2222 currently has a status of payment pending this means there may be an issue with payment blah 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 perfect let's say uh, what about order 9999 i think that's the beauty of you know these uh, the these llm based tools like you know they understand your language very nicely basically you can ask question in any shape or form you know you you all been using chat gpt cloud or whatever so so you know how intuitive it is basically so i simply said what about order 9999 so it is just carrying on following and simply saying your order 99 shows payments rejected okay and then attention required blah blah all these things and then i'm going to ask one last question what about um, some random number okay and hopefully in this case it's saying it has a context again see the, the beauty here i didn't even have to say order now it knows that i'm talking about order it's saying order blah 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 was not found in the system the reason why it was not found because default we were saying order not found so my my ai assistant has you know figured out that information now it's kind of translating back to back to my user all right so that was it um we have built our very first mcp server and we have integrated with our ai assistant the beauty of mcp servers is that you can actually if i go back to our our presentation you can talk to you know you can connect this mcp server now to any of the ai assistants we saw cloud okay because it was easy you can integrate it with your own um, llm system or your own ai assistant you can connect it with chat gpt etc okay and and just make use of that particular service um thank you very much for watching um i hope you enjoyed it see you later bye